Okay, so let's uh, animate this uh, link gun uh, hovering here. Uh, I'm just going to come into matinee and I might uh, bring this window down a little bit and close out Kismet just so that we can sort of see what's going on in our scene. And uh, here's our movement track. Uh, actually first I'm just going to bring the timeline down to two seconds and uh, bring our selection area up to the full two seconds. Uh, I'm also going to add a couple of keyframes. Add a keyframe at the one second mark and also another keyframe at the two second mark. Uh, now um, uh, I will check this uh, checkbox here that uh, that um, uh, shows our movement keyframes in this curve editor. And I might just sort of zoom in just a touch, just to sort of frame this up. And uh, now um, I'll also come down here and check the box that says show rotation on curve editor. And so now we have our rotation keyframes also visible in the curve editor. Uh, so what I want this uh, gun to do is to bob up and down just uh, very slightly, very slowly um, and I want it to do a full 360 degree rotation. So the first thing that I'll uh, do is the bobbing up and down. So I'm just going to close out all of these um, inputs apart from this one which is the uh, movement along the y-axis which is this green arrow here. I know that this is the arrow that I want because I'm set to local um, coordinate system. If I was set to world coordinate system I, uh, uh, I'd probably think that I have to bob up and down in Z uh, but um, because this is animating on a local um, coordinate system I switch over to local and I can see that I have the um, uh, the Z the Y axis being the one that I have to alter. So I just want this to come up a small amount, maybe eight units, and then sort of uh, dip back down. So I'm going to um, I might actually select this keyframe and uh, I will set a value of eight, and I'm just going to fit view to all. And so we, you can see that we have this nice sort of bell curve here. And I will loop the selection and see how that looks. And yeah, we've got that nice sort of moving up and down, that sort of hovering effect, which is sort of similar to the uh, weapon pickup, uh, if maybe a little bit more exaggerated. Now the uh, next thing that I want to affect is the um, y rotation. Again we will be rotating around this axis. You can see that if I um, bring focus back to this window and tap spacebar you can see that it is the green circle that we would be um, rotating around which is our y axis. Uh, now the y axis I want at this uh, two second mark and I'll just hide out the, uh, the bobbing movement um, track out. Uh, at the one second mark I want this to be halfway around so I'm going to set the value to 180 and at the two second mark I want it to be a full rotation so I set that to 360 and now I can uh, fit view to all and you can see that we have this sort of broken curve here now unfortunately, um, because we can only really have one movement track, um, when we uh, keyframe this uh, movement for the bobbing up and down, we also inadvertently have to keyframe this uh, rotation track because it, it puts a keyframe in all of these curves. Um, also, uh, we cannot uh, come in here and change the interpolation method or the, the, the curve style um, uh, here because if we change this uh, it'll change the um, actual curve style for the uh, for the bobbing animation which means that we'll get a very sort of jerky up and down movement 
instead of a nice sort of flowing up and down movement. Uh, and so we, ha we will have to work with um, Bezier curves and try to get as close to a linear, uh, a linear curve or a linear animation as possible. Uh, so what I'm going to do is with this keyframe selected I'm just going to select its curve handle I'm just going to hover my mouse just over this point here just so that we get this curve as straight as possible I'm then going to come down here and select this curve of uh, this um, keyframe and the um, the curve handle I'm just going to bring that up and I'm just going to hover my mouse over this point so that we get this as straight as possible and this seems to be more or less all right. And yeah. And uh, so that's pretty close to a linear curve, and it's close enough because it's rotation. It's close enough that the uh, player isn't going to notice anyway. So now, if I uh, loop this selection, we can see that we have this nice sort of uh, bobbing up and down and rotation. And uh, and that is uh, doing exactly what I want in the, in the game. So now we have to set it up that it will be uh, doing this in our game. So I'm just going to come back into Kismet and uh, I need to um, hook this up to a level loaded and we have a one of those nodes down here. So I'm just going to copy and paste this and I'm just going to drag a um, uh, a wire from Loaded and Visible to play and in Matinee I'm just going to switch on looping so that it does loop in the game and now uh, I'll play test and hopefully we'll see a nicely rotating and bobbing link gun and there we go so it sort of looks like the link gun is being suspended in an anti-gravity field um, which is uh, sort of the the same as our as our pickup point, and if we um, go into this uh, this little area here, uh, we can see that um, we don't actually collide with it, which is good because uh, that's where our pickup point is going to be. And don't worry about that collision there, that sort of um, jumping around when we're in those claws, because we're actually going to animate these claws to bend down and get out of the way of um, of this uh, this link gun, so I'll be able to s walk straight up and uh, and grab it. And uh, I can do that, um, or start doing that now. So what I'm going to do is I will just select one of these and in Kismet I'm just going to add a new matinee and you should be um, getting fairly familiar with the process now and this is going to be called Claw Open and uh, now the actual duration of this I want this set to one and a half seconds should do it um, okay and I'm going to add a new movement track and make sure it's visible in the curve editor and make sure that we uh, show rotations in the curve editor again I'm just going to close Kismet and so now um, and unfortunately because I've, I was uh, holding the buttons over that um, uh, that movement widget we've inadvertently started rotating. I'll just see if I can undo that. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Alright, well I think that's fairly close to our starting point. Okay, well, um, uh, we can put a keyframe at the end, at the end here, and uh, we can rotate this down. And I might just um, pause here, and uh, we can do this in the next video.